animate adventures, but I can only use fire units. Okay, this one isn't actually that difficult. It's basically, I can only use units that have the fire ability on their character. It's like, I can't use Julio, I can't use Brooke, because they don't have fire, but I can use these units, and this is the team I'm going to be using. We're going to be using Yamamoto, which was recently removed, and it's the best fire unit in the game currently. I think, I don't know if one of the, I don't know if one of the new Chainsaw Man units are fire. I don't have any of the Chainsaw units though, so I can't try those. But we have Natsu. A Kainu for air damage, and also the last one, Fire Fist, also for air damage. And I know there's a couple of the fire units, one of which is, where, where are they at? Where are they at? It's gonna, it's gonna be near the bottom. Here it is, Tirata, which is also a fire unit that technically does more damage than Fire Fist. But to be fair, they're both just really bad, and this one is air, and I want more air damage, because we're gonna be doing one of the harder maps, and we need quite a bit of air damage to actually win. But just fire units and money units, let's go see how well we can do. Also, on every single unit, I now have the Hellfire Blade Relic on it, which all boost fire damage. I managed to get four of them before they were removed, which is perfect for this challenge. And we're also doing Clover Kingdom, which has tons of ice units, which are not going to be a problem whatsoever, which is why I want to do it. And I'm guessing what we're going to set up is I'm going to try to set up for my Kainus mainly because that's like my air damage. We're going to set up right here on this curve because this Kainu can like reach this entire area very easily from there. But we got a Flaming Disciple first round. So let's go ahead and place down a Yamamoto, which should be enough damage to deal with that. And I'll make sure to have these up front so that way they can actually get kills for their ability, which makes them way more powerful, especially when fighting bosses. They're, they're going to come in clutch for sure on certain rounds. But let's get all of our money up so that way we can start affording units. My lord, those relics are so good. It literally one shot a unit with 5,000 health. It, it, it one shot a flaming disciple with only that much damage. That is perfect. And literally all of our units have one. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got those relics before they went away. And even one shots with a flame. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Flame damage for the win. But okay, we're up to the air, so let's go ahead and place down an Akainu, and I'll we'll have to upgrade it a tiny bit. That, um, that should be enough. Let's also go ahead and place down a Natsu right here. But more money upgrades, and let's do another upgrade on you. I'm literally just, like, toggling, doing units and also our money. Hey, you know what? Just because for the fun of it, let's also place down our Fire Fist. I don't remember how much range this has. I have not used it since my video on this unit and it's like the first unit i ever showed off in this game so i have no idea what the stats are but it is super low they need to buff this unit just for the sake of buffing it like come on like no one's gonna use it then but still like no one's using it now either but i mean air damage is air damage and we're gonna do lots of it i'll probably have this place down another yamamoto yeah we'll go ahead and do that for a little bit more help on the damage but let's go ahead and do the last money upgrade which we got on wave nine so that is perfect and then let's go ahead and spend a bunch of money on the Akainus. Because the first boss is always an air boss, so we're gonna need air damage to actually be able to kill it. And okay, so we got up to this upgrade. And I wanna give a quick little tip on Akainu. If you're using Akainu, especially on a story mode, don't upgrade him past this level when he's evolved. Because the DPS will actually go down immediately, but once you max it out, it has the exact same DPS maxed out than at this point. The only difference is that the cooldown is way longer and is also way more range. So if you don't need the range, don't upgrade past this point and use your money on other units for more damage, like more Akainus or something. Because overall, you'll end up having way more damage if you just upgrade to this level on multiple units instead of maxing out an Akainu. Later, I'll max him out, but for now, I'm gonna leave him at this range. So that way we can get way more damage down. Also, here's our first Ice Disciple. It died immediately. I couldn't even react to it. My lord, this would be so good. I love using fire units on this map because normally ice units are the biggest pain, but they're gonna be so easy this time. But there is the third kind up to that level. And let's go ahead and upgrade the fourth. Just spamming the upgrades and look at that range on it. Not too bad, pretty big curve. It'll get way more range if I were to go past the upgrade, which I'll do later. I think after I get Fire Fist and like y Yamamoto up for a little bit extra damage because the damage will be way slower, but it will hit way harder. But there we go. That is all of the Akainus up to the level I like it. Let's go ahead and spend all of our money on the Yamamotos now. Also, here's the first boss. Boss is dead. There we go. I'm honestly so curious to level this up. I don't remember what it was at. Hey, we got up to the big ability. Look at that range on Yamamoto. Oh, that is perfect. We're going to be able to farm so many souls in this unit with this range. 
And if you're wondering what I mean, once you get to this level, Yamamoto gets this ability. And basically what it does is it collects up to like, I think it's 500 souls. And every single soul you collect on it, whatever uses ability, it'll deal like an extra 10% more damage every single soul. While also hitting air units, which it normally doesn't do. But it's essentially just a boss killer. You can use it on like the wave 50 boss, especially on this map, and it will melt it so incredibly fast. And you can do it on every single one of them. So I'm going to try to get all of them up to that level so that way they can start collecting souls for the bosses. Because that ability will for sure save for this route if we end up have running into an issue at some point. But my lord, the damage is insane. It looks so cool though. Look at all that fire. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It's my favorite fire unit. It's literally the best fire unit in the game. So if, so if you're able to get it, keep it because it is so good for fighting ice units. It has so much damage. Whenever I max one out, I'll show off the DPS on it. It is so good. And there we go. That is the last one that now has the ability. So all three of these will now start farming souls and hopefully collect 500 or lots of souls at least pretty quickly. But we got the next boss, which is the mid-ranking devil. That was not too bad, actually. We'll be able to kill that one very easily. Let's see this max. Okay, there we go. The maximum stats of a maxed out fire fist. Oh my lord. Game, you need to add like an extra zero to that. <laughs> my lord. That is only 1,000 DPS. This is literally one of the worst units in the game, but it is still better than Tirada because Tirada doesn't hit air. But hey, the boss is here. It's taking damage now. Pretty quickly too. Look at that. I already lost all of its shield and now it's going through the main health. I'm guessing let's go to upgrade Natsu because we need a little bit more damage. So let's upgrade this one and then we'll do Yamamoto. My lord, everything's on fire. It's almost like all of our units are fire units. Like who would have thought? This is like anime adventures, but everything is orange now. Oh my lord. Okay, is this max? Okay, there we go. There is the max out Natsu. Those are actually very easy to max out. What is the damage on that? 5.7 thousand damage. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. I mean, definitely nowhere as good as Yamamoto. Yamamoto has insane damage once you max him out. He's super expensive, though. That's probably why he's so good. But I'm getting kind of worried about these disciples. They're getting pretty far now. Like, they are getting very far to the point where I want to go ahead... I'm going to max one of these out. I know it doesn't increase the damage, but it does increase the rage. So it'll start getting hit earlier. We're only going to do one of them, though, for now. Let's also go ahead and set this to flying. I mean, look at that. 51 range on this unit at max. That is insane. That is maximum, too. Let, let's see. The DPS comparison between this Akainu and the maxed out Akainu is that this one has 10 less DPS than this one. At least for mine. There's might be a little bit different. I do have God Speed on mine, so it's a little bit higher than normal but it does have the plus side of the fact that it can hit way more units in the same hit look at that aoe size huge aoe compared to this one has a pretty small one so this one might end up technically be dealing more damage but not that much more so we'll leave the other three for now i want to go ahead let's start maxing out a yamamoto because these things require a lot of money as you can see and there we go. So that is a maxed out Yamamoto, 122,000 damage every 12 seconds. That is 9.9 thousand DPS. Yeah, that is the highest damage fire you, you can get. Mine also has superior three on it, which isn't too bad, but Godspeed would definitely be a lot better because it's a super long cooldown normally. But hey, we're on wave 30 now. I'm guessing I'll go ahead and keep upgrading these because the damage is insane. And I want to get these souls up. Also, this one has dealt no damage. That's good, considering it's maxed out. That means nothing's getting by except for, like, the air units. Okay, we got a high-ranking devil. This one is not bad either. We're getting these in perfect order. We got the low-ranking, medium, and then high. That is perfect. We're slowly getting harder bosses. And the boss is getting hit. And the boss is now dead. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the rest of the um, fire fist. I'm going to move them back a tiny bit. How many of these can we even have? We can have five of these. Okay, that's good. That means we can have a total of 5,000 DPS on these Fire Fists. That is going to be helpful. Let's max these out next. And then we'll go ahead and max up the Yamamoto's and then the Natsu's. Because we need more damage to fight these air units. So we're doing these first. Oh, okay. We're running into a bit of a problem with the air units. They're getting quite far. Which one has the lowest? This Okay, this one has the lowest. Let's use this one. And this will go ahead, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it starts hurting every single unit in range, including the air units. Okay, that's good. A little bit of a waste to use it, but it's perfectly fine because, if anything, it'll help our air units catch back up to hitting them over here instead of all the way over here. Hopefully, we don't have to keep doing that. That would be very bad if we have to keep doing that. But there is the third fire fist, three of the five done. 
Okay, Aaron, you're gonna getting up to here, and we're almost done maxing out the uh, Fire Fist. I think what we have to do is I'm gonna go ahead and start maxing out the Akainu, so that way they can start hitting more units at the same time. Because right now, they're just hitting this group, the mo most of them, but they would be hitting these also, which would help catch up to the units. There we go. All the Fire Fists are now done. Let's go ahead and max out another one of these so that we can start hitting way more. Because look at that range. Look how far it goes out. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. In fact, just to help, let's go ahead and use this one again with 100 souls. There we go. That will go ahead and melt through all of the hell. Like, look at that. Everything dies immediately because of it. And that is perfect. In fact, so that way that does more. Let's go ahead and save for this upgrade and then finish maxing out these guys. Because this is like our air Yamamoto. We're only using this one on airs and keeping the other two safe so that we can use them on bosses. Because we have two more bosses to go and I don't even know if we'll be able to kill them. And there we go. Okay, so that is way better. Now we're on to the next boss. Oh my gosh, it's the air one. You've got to be kidding me. It has 1.8 million health and we're having trouble killing things with 300k. Oh my gosh, we're going to be using Yamamoto to fight this boss. That's, this is why we save these up is for that one case. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade more of these. There's a third one maxed out. And I'm going to save up money for the last one for the immediate upgrade. Once it gets into range, I'll go ahead and use the ability. This is literally the worst case scenario. The hardest one we could get because the, the last boss is always the same. The first and last boss are always the same. This is the hardest low ranking devil we could actually get. This is a pain. Oh my gosh. My gosh, look at all the fire though. Everything's on fire. This is great. Okay. Is it in range? Okay, it's in range of our units. Is it in range of this one? It is. Okay, let's use the ability, which let's see how much damage it does to the unit. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all that chunk of damage. Using an 80 soul Yamamoto, it went through like 400,000 health on 80 souls. That is actually insane. I might have to use another one though, to be honest. Do you have a 500? I have a 400. I have a 300 too. Uh, let's use this one. I don't think we have enough fire damage or air damage, I should say. We definitely have enough fire damage, but I don't think we have enough air damage to kill it. So let's go ahead and use the ability and let's just watch the health of the Rocking Devil. Look at that. Oh, look at those chunks of health. That is a huge amount of damage. Too bad it takes so long to save up that many souls. That was perfect. And there we go. That is the last Yamamoto. So all of those are done now. So no more upgrading him. Let's go ahead and place down some Natsus. It looks like they're actually starting to deal damage too, which is great. They're actually being useful, I guess. And okay, so we've maxed out the last Natsu. So that was entirely up to just waiting for round 50. And we're going to make it too because we're, we're killing the air units pretty fast. I'm not quite sure what changed, but we seem to be doing a lot better right now than we were like a second ago. But there's only two waves left until the round is over. I'm trying my hardest to save these souls so that way I could use it on the boss. But I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and use this one to catch back up with the airs. Definitely takes big chunks out of all the health. That's why he's meta for like ice maps is because of that ability. Wave 49 and now it is wave 50. I'm going to save all of these souls for the boss. I don't care if we die to airs now because we made it past wave 50. Yeah, we, yeah, we, okay, we just lost. Dang it. Now we just wait for him to walk all the way over so that we can use the abilities. And okay, there we go. I finally lost the wave at 51. Where is the boss at? Is the boss in range yet? Okay, he's right here. Once his shield drops, I'll go ahead and use all the abilities. Okay, there we go. It's gone. Let's go ahead and spam. I should not spam him. Let's use one of the abilities because this guy transforms once he gets to half health. So we have to give him the half health first. And I don't think that is enough. Um, so let's use the second one and we'll use the last one on the final boss version. Okay, there we go. He's got half health. Now he's going to transform. And wait for that shield to drop, which it will incredibly fast because of all the fire ticks. And there he goes. So now he's taking damage. So let's go ahead and use this Yamamoto. Let's see if it's even possible for us to kill this boss. Okay, there we go. The, the main shield is gone. Now it's just 6 million health. Only had one more of these, actually. I don't think they'll regenerate by the time he gets out of range. Okay, so he got out of range of everything except for the Akainus now. I'm guessing, let me go ahead and sell these and I can replace like one or two of these up ahead. 
I'm doing these because they are our highest damage units, so we might as well place these instead of anything else. And we got two of them placed down. Awesome. Let's also go ahead and sell everything else so we can place down more of those Yamamoto's. That's the only thing that really matters right now. And it looks like those are out of range. So he has 2 million health, which is going to be several hits from these guys. Let's go ahead and place down the third one all the way over here and max that out. There we go. And there we go. The boss is dead. We did it. We can actually kill the boss. It just requires us to replace all the Yamamoto's after selling everything we own. But hey, we did it. Accounts. So there we go. Using just fire units on like one of the hardest ice maps in the game. That was pretty satisfying. Everything was on fire the entire time, which was kind of expected to be fair. 